Welcome everyone, I'm Daniel Muñoz from the Universidad de Málaga and I'm going to present our work about defining categorical reasoning of numerical feature models with feature-wise and variant-wise quality attributes. This is a collaboration between my university and the KTH Royal Institute of Technology where I made a short research stay which I thank Professor Gillian Guro for hosting me and having lots of fun. Our main motivation is the need for different types of extensions of feature models and also the reasoning. There we are presenting a really small and simple feature model formed by three features, Boolean features A, B and C, with an OR cardinality relationship. The first extension will be numerical features with arithmetic constraints. We simply added a numerical feature, NF, of a natural domain. Then we have the feature-wise quality attributes that are only compatible with simple aggregation functions. For example, there we have the cost, one euro and two euros. And the addition is the aggregation function for the cost. We just at the cost of the individual features that conform a final product. But then there are quality attributes, very difficult to generate an aggregation function and divide and parallelize the quality attribute values, for example, latency and energy. Then they must be modeled at the configuration level, let's say variant wise. There, as we have three products, AB, AC, and ABC, we have three different quality attribute values at the configuration level. Continuing, we can find complex constraints involving any type of feature and quality attributes. For example, and this is just an example to illustrate the problem, the addition of latency energy must be greater than two times the costs of the product. And finally, we can find very advanced optimization goals. For example, there we have a first weighted multi-objective optimization. 70% will be the cost to optimize and 30% of the importance will be to the energy rate. But what is the energy rate? The energy rate are watts, how they are calculated, dividing use by second. That means that the energy rate is calculated by dividing the latency quality attribute, uh, sorry, the energy quality attribute by the latency quality attribute. We kind of summarize the related work in this table. Just to check which tools while for modeling and or for reasoning support all those extensions. We can see that mm, some of them, even if it's the state of the art, support some of the extensions at the really low level that like just addition aggregation function but in general, they lack of support above Boolean features and logic constraints. Besides the category theory framework, which we are going to present now. Category theory is an abstract area of mathematics, and its objective if it's to unify common characteristics of different mm, techniques and models, avoiding what they differentiate them between them, but again, allowing them to keep those, dis those distinctions. Why did we apply category theory? Because there is a this connection between the extended feature models, whatever the extension we are talking about, 
and the quality model. The quality model is the one modeling variant wise quality attributes, like for example, energy rate and runtime. On the right side, we can see the variability and quality category. In our framework, we can find five defined objects. I recall that categories are formed by objects and arrows. That's all. Also, there are three domains, three object domains there. The Boolean, the integer set, and the string set. If we start from the upper objects, we have the features object and the qualities objects. If we go below, a set of features is the complete configuration object, CCS. And likewise, a set of qualities is the configuration level of variant wise quality attribute object, QAAs. And how they are related together by the quality measured configurations. That's the QMC object. Then hierarchical relationships like father. We can find as well there a selection of Boolean features, numerical values of the numerical features and the name, domain, and so on of the features and the feature attributes and the quality values. But let's better illustrate this. On the left side, we have an extended feature model, the corresponding quality model, and the quality aware space. This is just an example. I recall categories are formed by objects and relationships. Then on the right side, we can see how first we define the schema. The schema is defining the structure of the category, the meta model. And then the instances is giving values to that meta model. That means creating a model, a feature model or a quality model or a mixture of them because category is flexible and allows us to define a merge model that includes quality model and, and any type of, of extension of feature models. Again, we can find there, in this case, six objects because I define the feature level quality for a better illustration as a sixth object and how with the instances give values to them of a certain domain for example the name of the features is a string domain then the instance of, of them it's string instances then we can find also numerical ones for the attributes at the feature level and for the quality level configuration level. For a more in-depth category theory definitions and explanations and how we get to this model, we refer the readers to our previous work in Casey. Nevertheless, for what we are going to present next, keep in mind that the features were FS object, the configuration are the complete configuration object, CCS, the set of quality attributes is the QA, QAS object for the configuration level qualities. And the quality measure configuration is the binary relationship object. The graphical representation of a category is an OLO. Here we can see the edge product line as a category. We can see the Boolean features, for example, interface, mobile, Wi-Fi, the hierarchical relationship, parent, 
one numerical feature it's below ethernet is the the megabits that the interface runs in we have cardinalities like XOR that is another element of the feature object we can see another element of the of the feature object that is the cost feature level quality attribute on the right side we can see the quality model part where we can find configuration level quality attributes like performance and energy rate and the respective domains watts and second seconds for integer also above it summarizes the quality measured configurations object that is the binary relationship between the quality model part the quality attributes variant wise and the complete configurations that are also links to features okay after we have clarified the model the next step is the reasoning here we present the framework that we developed for sql ide that is the state-of-the-art categorical reasoner for category category theory first of all we start with the SPL schema. Here we call it the quality and variability model schema. That's a category, that's a meta model. That's the structure. We define the structure. And which is the structure? Objects and domains. Specifically, we have parent objects with child objects and the parent relationship. That's it, the hierarchical relationship. That's all we need for the feature model. Then we populate it, we create a model from the meta model that's an instance from the category. As a small example, three features, domain boolean and an or cardinality. Now it comes the software product lines expert. While using our framework, it can include user requirements and cross three constraints. Additionally, it can request reasoning operations that we can call queries. They can be complex ones, like this one, that is a compounded one. But this is transparent for him. So he, he, he does, the expert doesn't know if it, this is compounded or not. He's asking for, a, for example, a two random sampling. Then, our framework decompose that in two operations, a two limit and a random. First generate the random, ra, ra, with a random seed, the complete configuration space. And then take two samples, two samples from that. Please keep in mind that it could be the other way around. It will be another operation. That means taking two samples and offering them randomly in a random order. Hence, these indivisible queries, these indivisible operations are reusable. If we continue further, we need to define the output schema, the output category, because operations, reasoning operations, are functors between categories from a source category to a target category. Here we define a category with two objects, an ID that is an integer and a set of features that we call it a product that is a string. Actually what we are generating is random sampling. In this case, we have ABC, we have AB, hence we are missing AC. 
Then the results are given back are given back to the S over product line expert. We are now presenting the most common reasoning operations considering quality attributes. That means quality aware reasoning. We implemented these algorithms in CQL IDE, which means that they are a functional programming code based on lambda functions. Algorithm one is satisfiability. We call the operation satisfy. And it's simply checking that in the binary relationship object, that's QMC, it exists a symbolic relationship between a complete configuration with this binary relationship object and also additionally another symbolic relationship between the binary object and a set of quality attributes. In other words, if there is a complete configuration measured, but we don't care, we just check that there is a that it exists a symbolic relationship in that binary object. We don't care which are the features, which is the configuration, which are the quality attributes, or which values they have. For model counting, something similar. We call the operation count, and we just add how many symbolic relationships exist in the binary relationship object. Examples of concrete uh, reasoning operations that an expert could request based on the edge category that we presented, the edge product line example. Well, for example, how many configurations are in edge, measure for RAM time in seconds, and for energy rate in bats. In algorithm 3, the expert in product lines is adding user requirements. We call that operation filter because we are filtering the complete configuration space. While it seems a little bit more complicated, what it's doing is an iteration of checking in the binary relationships that's the QMC, phi, and C relationships. There is a true complete configuration, there is a true set of quality attributes, and that those features belonging to that complete configurations and those qualities belonging to that quality attributes match the constraint. For example, based on the edge product line category, 5G plus and RAM time greater or equal than 2 seconds imply that the energy rate must be less or equal than 1, one watt. The next algorithm is the random sampling. Actually, random sampling is a composition of two reusable let's say algorithms or reasoning operations or also queries that is bound that is the number of samples and random that with a random seed you are generating the solution space in a randomized order while these algorithms seems a little bit larger than the previous what are we doing is first of all in line one shuffling the symbolic relationships in the binary relationship object and then because they are shuffled based on a random set we just iterate over that object to recreate those symbolic relationships as a true relationships obtaining the features the names they have the attributes the quality attributes etc 
and we just take the number of samples declared on bound. So that's an iterative up to. Finally, we have one of the most critic reasoning operations. Algorithm 5 is the aggregation functions. That means aggregating feature level or feature wise quality attributes to produce the bind wise or configuration level quality attribute value. What we do in this algorithm is populating the binary relationship object with the calculations from the feature level quality attributes and the aggregation functions. They are critical because they are necessary to define aggregated feature-wise and variant-wise quality attributes constraints and also to detect influences between variant-wise and feature-wise quality attributes. As an example, based on the edge category, we can declare that the cost must be greater or equal than $40 and that that implies that the energy rate should be less or equal than 18 watts and that the RAM time should be less or equal than 10 seconds. As a usage, if we add that constraint to the CQL IDE framework for the H uh, category model and instance, SQL ID will generate the solution space with the respective three quality attribute values. showing that a 5G network with a large antenna is optimal. Besides for the monitor built-on function in which 4G networks with a small antenna behave equally with a fraction of the cost. That means cheaper. To finish with a discussion, We prove that programmable and composable reasoning avoids requesting extensions. That means asking developers of, for example, Clafer, SAT solvers, C3, Choco solver, to extend the tools, or also to provide other exotic solutions like external databases hosting configuration level quality attributes and then developing some in process that connects configurations from Clafer to the quality attributes in the database. That's for example the case of ADAS, which I also developed. Or also using prediction algorithms to create performance models based on a complex aggregated um, quality attributes, which are, is usually unfeasible or inaccurate for to generalize. Another thing is that we tested all the operations and the runtime, I mean, again, the average for all the operations and some of them are quite different, was roughly 13 0, 0 0.13 seconds. That's less than a second. That's a 10% fraction of a second. Theoretically, this is because SQL IDE scale linearly due to the algorithms to reason and to, to, to solve constraints. It is a mixture of an automatic theorem prover with not Bendix completion and hashing and balanced binary search trees and chasing algorithms. Concluding with this talk, there is a lack of understanding methods and tools designed for quality aware modeling, analysis and reasoning 
most of the tools, most of the models deals with the basic logic features and logic constraints. That means Boolean domain. We detail the categorical modeling of software product lines, that's our QBM, and on site five, five quality hour reasoning algorithms based on functional lambda programming that will satisfy model counting bound the random sampling bound plus random sampling, the filtering and the aggregation. The RAM times in SQL IDE suggested reasonable scalability, but this is very preliminary and we need to perform many more tests of scalability with different models and different types of results. As a future work, future work, we plan to extend the evaluation by including large spaces and even colossal spaces and things like added sampling, prediction algorithms, etc. We also know that we need to test and extend other programming environments. For example, the most traditionally one used for category theory, Haskell. I thank the following projects that allowed me to be here. And that was all. Thank you, Jean.